All right, the map is Europe, and these are the bonuses. Two, three, three, five, eight, seven, six, three, six, and a bunch of fours. We're the purple player first in the turn order. Interesting, Blizzard's right here. Bit overkill, but it blocks off these two from each other. Spain's a one-point hold right here. West Africa's a two-point hold right here and right here. But the white player's very strong for West Africa, so we don't go for that. I'll talk about the rest of the Blizzards later. I need to take my turn, because we are first in turn order. And I like this idea of having a one-point hold on a plus four bonus on my first turn. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Now that I have time to think, this blizzard does nothing. This blizzard makes Central Europe into a 1-2-3 point hold. This blizzard makes Scandinavia into a 2 point hold. And this blizzard makes Russia into a 1-2-3-4 point hold. The orange player seems to want North Africa, which is good because white probably goes down here and these two deal with each other. The black player probably goes over here. They've got 8 troops they are strong for the, the noob corner. If I grab France, I've got a 1-2-3 point hold and plus 8. It would be very nice. And the green player decides to go in and push blue out here and they get terrible dice in that 7 versus 4 and they lose everything. That's bad for both of them. The white player's down to 18 troops already. Brutal start for them. Green player attacks over there to get a card. And the white player decides to go for Scandinavia. Ooh, they take their turn and actions very quickly. I am scared of the white player. They are good. I think the black player is going for the Daneric Alps, but they're patient. I'm almost tempted to break uh, the white player over here. They seem good. I'd rather have a good player not be in the game, right? Go ahead and break them over there. And they're mad. I understand you're mad. I'm scared of you because you seem like you're probably good. The orange player gets their North Africa, which is a one, two, three point hold. And the green player breaks orange. The green player loves to make enemies. And they leave the Daneric Alps because they know the black player is going to go for it. And the white player switches over here to West Africa they, because they know that orange and green are busy. So they can just go down here. And they try to reclaim their Scandinavia. I would love to break their Daneric Alps, but I've already made an enemy out of the white player. I've kind of got my own problems over here. So what I do is I commit to the enemy that I have and push you out of this part of the world entirely as much as I can. And you'll be trapped down there with those guys down there. And that will be a problem for another day. I'll go ahead and grab the British Empire here, because why not? But I won't try too hard to defend it. Instead, I'll get one big stack here to eventually deal with your six. I imagine the black player runs through and breaks all these. We don't care about these for a couple turns. Orange left became a bot because green broke them. And the boss doing a lot of damage to the white territories. They have a two here, a one here, a one here, and then this. And that's it. Green attacking all the way to the left. Why? Try to get away from the bot? Green is a wild card. The white player commits down there, and they do get that bonus. The question is, does green break them? If I had to guess, I think green probably will break them, and I don't have to worry about it. Or the bot might even stack there and break them. The black player stacked three over there, and obviously they're going to run through and break all my stuff. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. We did not expect to hold this this turn. Ten troops for us. We know exactly where they're going. We're going to follow this. I mean, I could probably put some of my other stack down there to have that nine be a bit stronger down there. But we are going to go ahead and get you right out of this. Don't want you around here at all. And I'll actually attack down one more to get the white player's territory out of here. Thank you. And we'll defend these up a little bit, although there's a good chance the black player stacks a bunch right here and breaks the next turn. Again, not that big of a deal. The bot pushes the white player out of there. So all they have left is West Africa and this. And if we're lucky, the green player breaks their West Africa. Because I can't deal with a white player right now because I'm also dealing with a black player right now. I can't deal with a 2v1. I need green to help me out. Don't stack there. Break their West Africa. Are you a player? Are you a bot? You're a player. Oh, you're going to be a friendly neighbor to them now and not break them, aren't you? Because you know... Oh, that's bad for me. I need a green to fight them. I was counting on green to fight them. That's nine troops. They could easily go right there and slam through and break this. But luckily for me, they choose not to, and they're thinking about breaking green. They shouldn't. Green was a homie to you this turn. But somehow we survived the wrath of the white player. They're playing to win, not to self-destruct. Lucky for me, the black player did not try to attack my five or my six. That's going to be a lot of extra troops for us. We just held one, two, three, four bonuses, and they just let me hold it. I could stack a 21 here and go through and do a lot of damage. The white player is very tempting. Instead, we ignore all that and grab a fifth bonus because if your guys aren't going to do anything about it, why would I not want to have even more? And now I have a one, two, three point hold on one, two, three, four, five bonuses. Bot trades in, which is three, six, eight, 12, 16. Just from the bonuses alone, not even counting the extra troops from having so many territories. Now with the, the troops from their bonus, 
In a card trade, they can choose to go through here or through here and break a lot of this. But then I just card trade and take it all back. I think the bot wants to go for rush by the looks of things. And green is doing a trust exercise with the white player. Which is good for both of them, bad for me. Moment of truth, do you card trade, stack it all right here, and then break me? You don't, you're too busy not trusting the green player. Not sure why you're stacking 5 here and 15 there. They're doing the cry emoji? Why? Oops. What are you trying to communicate to me? Did you misclick? Maybe they misclicked and they wanted to put 7 up here. I don't know what's going on. They fortified that up to there. That's why they stacked there, because they wanted to fortify that up to there. Actually, if I move this to here and have that attack that out, we then have a 1-2 point hold on these 5 bonuses. 24 troops is a lot. And a card trade on 5. Extra 6 troops. I could run a 42 and actually take out the white player and get their 5 cards. I'm going to do that because I consider the white player to be the biggest threat on the board. And I don't really want to give them a chance to uh, get strong and make some clever multiple elimination thing to deal with me. You're just too big of a threat. You're too good. You're too scary. You're too intimidating. I saw how fast you take your actions and I was scared. I was terrified of the threat that you are. And I want you out of here. Appreciate that. I've been working the whole match to take you out. And get your five cards is great. Thank you for this. Take those 10 extra troops. I mean, you could have a one, two, ask uh, too many points to defend. Can I eliminate another player? I don't think so. I think we stack here for defense. We get green out of here so I can have like less points to defend here, eventually. And fortify this over to here. I end my turn with 77 troops and five cards. The black player is definitely going to card trade in five, stack everything right here, and hit me, do a lot of damage. We will still be able to recover from that because our card trade in five and we have so many territories. Now, the biggest concern is the black player gets a elimination on green for five cards. Could be a problem for me. Green trades in on five cards for ten, which means probably not worth it for the black player to take him up for three cards next turn. I mean, maybe it gives him a double trade in. I think green might be coming over here to self-destruct on me. They want to work with the black player against me. Yeah, they're going to self-destruct on me, and the black player is going to work on me. So we're dealing with a 2v1. They get bad dice and don't even break me. The green player is just like a chaos incarnate. Seven for you. Card trade in five gives you an extra 12 troops. So that gives you 19. Why on earth would you put seven over there? Oh, because you want to run down this way to take out green? I mean, just go through this way, right? And then come down like that. They're saying oops. Why are you saying oops? They are trying to eliminate green for cards here. They take, out, they take out green, gives them a card trade of 15. Yeah, I'm not sure why they stacked seven over there. That was a mistake, I think. Gotta attack the bot there unnecessarily, right? They get the kill in green, securing a higher place for themselves, and their three cards gives them five for immediate card trade-in, which they can use to try and break some of my bonuses. 15 extra troops. Why are you stacking three over there? Are you trying to take out the bot? They want to take out the bot for another kill. Better hurry up, your turn's running out of time. They're going for the bot. Black player's actually not too bad. They don't have enough troops, I don't think, unless they get fantastic dice. They do not. They have fed me the bot kill. Card trade of five gives us 22. We take this. Good game. Yes, indeed. I need to take my turn quickly, though. So we're going to stack these all over here, and we will take out the bot also. We're just going to deal with you at the same time, because why not, right? Crushing through this. We love what's happening here. Appreciate you giving us the kill on the bot. Makes it a little bit easier. To be honest, I'm not sure if there's any scenario you could have beat me, but well, here we are. Thanks for the cards. And now we try and clean you up before the timer runs out. Good game. Well played. And there it is. You love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Beginner, novice, master, intermediate. I knew they were good and I made the right call targeting them the whole match.